Well, up to a story we first reported last night, the raid of a suspected meth lab in Norfolk. Norfolk police say that Jesse Kendrick, Patrick Witten, and Danielle Martin were all manufacturing methamphetamine in a house on Iowa Avenue. Officers arrested all three last night. As we told you last night, the police found a toddler inside that house, so now additional charges to those drug charges. The trio, they may face child endangerment charges now. Turn on your side, so Art Khan has been doing some digging into this story today. So, Art, what have you found? Well, a couple of things, Alveda. Police believe the suspected meth lab on Iowa Avenue is what's known as a shake and bake lab. And more and more authorities in Hampton Roads are finding that the number of children exposed to these kinds of labs are growing at an alarming rate. Meth is a serious problem not just in Virginia but throughout the United States. The alleged methamphetamine lab discovered at this Norfolk home Monday was, according to police, nothing elaborate. In fact, the suspects simply mixed some household chemicals in an empty soda bottle to produce the drug, thus the name Shake and Bake. The name sounds innocent enough, but beware. People are actually using the Internet, and they're experimenting with this kind of uh, making labs and stuff, and sometimes they don't make it correctly, and as you know, explosions and stuff like that are common occurrences. According to the Drug Enforcement Agency, local and federal officials have busted meth labs at nine different locations in Norfolk, Virginia Beach, and Chesapeake in just the first five months of this year. There have also been shake-and-bake labs discovered in neighboring northeastern North Carolina. This lab was raided by authorities in Gates County last March. Unfortunately, there is another trend associated with these meth labs. Like the one found in Norfolk yesterday, more and more children are being found living at these home base labs. People, unfortunately, that are two things, hooked on, nar hooked on the narcotic, and two is it's a, it's a very lucrative deal. I mean, it's a very lucrative business. According to the Department of Justice, in 2002, there were more than 15,000 meth lab-related incidents in the United States. Those incidents involved more than 2,000 children present in homes where labs were found. 26 of those kids were injured and two were killed. The two-year-old found at the house in Norfolk yesterday was turned over to Child Protective Services. Yeah, now the ingredients used to make math, meth can be toxic and flammable, even use some battery parts. Now, although the shake and bake labs produce a very small amount of meth, mostly for personal consumption, the process still poses a real danger, as you just saw, not only to the criminals, but their neighbors and sadly even children. Now, we know that local police are working closely with the DEA to learn more about how to safely eliminate these labs and bring their makers to justice. Alvida. Yeah, very interesting situation. Thanks a lot.